Today in the news, memory gets pricey and, well, a ton of AMD. What's up, guys? I'm Snows, and this is your Boot Sequence. Let's get started with a... a... a NAND Flash-related story. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say AMD, huh? All right, so it looks like you better buy your SSDs in the near future because according to a report from Digitimes, the prices are about to skyrocket up 40% in 2020. Now, usually when we talk about a price hike in the NAND flash market, which has happened a lot over the last year or so, it's industry analysts who make predictions. And most of the times, those predictions are either a miss or not super accurate. This time though, the information seems to come directly from sources at memory chip makers, which means it's a lot more more likely. I mean, about two days ago, Samsung suffered a minute-long power outage, which apparently damaged millions of dollars worth of DRAM and NAND flash, and that alone could cause a price hike. So if you wanted to buy an SSD or some memory, now would be the best time to do so. And I'm not just saying that because of the possibility of a price hike. It's also the cheapest we've seen memory in the last couple of years. Moving on to the AMD news. Hey, it's inevitable. We have to talk about AMD. Okay, so the company will be at CES 2020 and will push the envelope yet again to make 2020 an incredible year for high performance computing. Their words, not mine. I'm not that much of a fanboy. According to a major Taiwanese newspaper, AMD will likely share some details on the Zen 3 architecture during their presentation. That makes sense since according to AMD's official roadmap, at least one product is slated for production in Q3 of this year with Zen 3. I'm talking about the Epic Milan processors. So what about desktop CPUs? Well, we're still waiting on some details for the Threadripper 3990X with a whopping 64 cores. And according to some rumors, AMD might also introduce a 3980X at 48 cores. Although the sources on this one are pretty thin. And for Ryzen mainstream processors, no info has really come out for CES 2020. But some speculations on performance increase have been floating around for Zen 3 unrelated to CES. Apparently, Zen 3 will offer a 50% increase in floating point performance and a 17% increase in IPC. Although, as with any speculations, take this with a grain of salt. As a baseline of what we can expect, Mark Papermaster, AMD's CTO, said during an interview with Enantech this week that AMD's goal is to increase single core performance by at least 7% every 12 months. Given it's a brand new architecture, we might get a very small teaser of Ryzen 4000 at CES, but I highly doubt it. Moving on to some more AMD news, it looks like I've finally been vindicated. Navi 12 is officially not big Navi. Okay, not officially officially, but it's been spotted on CompuBench featuring a maximum of 36 compute units. It says 18 here, but has a dual compute unit layout, so it means that it has 36 individual ones. That's for all of you guys who thought that my naming scheme logic made absolutely no sense. Shame, shame. Anyways, that GPU seems to have a fairly low clock speed. It says here it's max 1144 megahertz, although there are usually two numbers in that section. And this number looks more like a base clock than anything. The clock speed is also very close to the ASRock RX 5600 XT that was leaked a few days ago. So this is likely the RX 5600 XT. Also for AMD GPUs, we got Navi 21. Now this is a sodium warning. If you don't want to feel bloated all day, this news is not for you. Apparently, Navi 21, also known as Big Navi, will have twice the die surface area compared to the RX 5700. This information was shared on Reddit and comes from a Chinese message board. It will be based on TSMC's 7 nanometer plus process, which we already knew, and uses GDDR6 memory, which I expected given AMD's new focus on gaming for the RDNA architecture. Now, most of this isn't really news. It's just possible popping up over and over again. What put me off from that supposed leak is that it says Navi 21 is twice as fast as Navi 10. Twice the surface area doesn't equal twice as fast. Plus, hardware ray tracing for RDNA 2 will take some space on that die. I mean, for Turing, RT and Tensor cores, both often used in tandem for smoother gameplay, take up almost half the die. So yeah, very flaky news there, if you ask me. I just wanted to relay that information to you, so if you ever hear that, you kind of know what's what. 
And lastly, for the non-sponsored, I repeat, it is non-sponsored, free games section, Meditation Games is offering a free game every day for 2020. They're tiny games, but they're sometimes fun. Link is down below for more info. And also, go get Darksider 1 and 2 and Steep for free on the Epic Store for the next week or so. Once again, not sponsored. I just like free games. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any questions or comments, you know where to put them down below. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, happy 2020, and I'll see you on the next one. I got like a New Year's resolution type video I'm making soon. Take care. Did you know zero calorie noodles exist? I mean, they're not literally zero calories, but it's like 85 grams for, I think something like five calories, maybe four.